Right, just when we thought COVID was over, a new subvariant is proving that it's not. We've seen this subvariant spreading across Europe and even in our region. So let's verify what we know with the help of our sources. You can see them right up on your screen. Dr. Amish Adalja from Johns Hopkins University, Dr. William Schaffner from Vanderbilt University, and Dr. Anthony Fauci, who spoke one on one with our Jess Arnold. Let's start with what we know. It's clear that BA2 is more contagious than BA1. It does not appear that BA2 is more dangerous than BA1. Our vaccines continue to prevent serious disease. BA2 is not yet the dominant strain in the US. It's out there making its mischief and giving the original Omicron strain a run for its money. And that's backed up by CDC data. They estimate that nearly 35% of COVID cases last week were BA2. As for those of you who had Omicron, are you protected from severe illness? Our experts say that likely the answer is yes. There is a lot of cross protection. So if you've been infected with BA1, the chances are you're quite protected against infection with BA2, or at least infection accompanied by severe disease. Infection is difficult. This is a very transmissible virus. So you could get infected even if you were previously infected before. The critical issue is it's unlikely that you'll wind up getting severe disease. Now, what we don't know. We don't know how widely it will spread in the United States and whether it will prolong our transition from pandemic to endemic. Let's hope not. In the good news, our experts say if you're vaccinated and boosted and not immunocompromised, pretty protected, and you could keep those masks off, at least for now. Lorenzo? Yeah, Evan, so with this subvariant, do we know if it's being reported in our region yet? Yeah, the short answer is yes. This is according to our local health departments. Listen to these numbers right here. In Maryland, they recorded 145 cases as of Wednesday. In D.C., they recorded 55 cases. And in Virginia, about 20% of cur uh, current COVID cases are BA2. And here's the thing. They're not sequencing every COVID test. So in all likelihood, there are far more cases out there. The big picture is that it's here and we're, we're going to have to keep an eye on this to see if it continues to spread.